Live at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange is Alan Nuckman of Agora Financial. Alan has worked with all aspects of the commodity markets for the past 18 years, by the way. He is currently the editor of Resource Trader Alert, a trading service devoted to raking in profits from hard commodities. Also with us, Michael Cagino of Permanent Portfolio Funds, where he manages over $6 billion in assets. Michael's Permanent Portfolio Fund has outperformed 97% of rival funds over the past five years. Uh, let's start with you, Michael. Um, it looks like the market is turning up today, so I can just ask you first a day of question. I mean, we get what looks like positive news uh, from BP, what some people are piecing together as positive news uh, for Goldman Sachs from the SEC. Is this enough, do you think, to turn, to turn things around in such a, on such a light volume summer day? Well, we don't have much time left to turn it around today, but I mean, today is only one day uh, in a longer term story and a longer term market, really. And I think what we're seeing is a little bit of a sell off after a run up the last week and a half. Um, some earlier news today was not as positive. Uh, the market's discounting some. I think the market's moving away from a double dip scenario, but also discounting that growth may not be as robust as maybe we thought earlier in the year. And the market's trying to find value there. But certainly good news at the end here today regarding BP and probably a big overhang on the stock of Goldman with respect to any litigation issues they can resolve. Well, let's talk Goldman, guys, because we're tracking what's going on with the shares. And they are up more than six right now. So we're looking at a gain of about 4.4 per. Alan, you're down there on the floor. Are you hearing anything in terms of whether or not we might get some news on Goldman today, especially since we know the SEC is expected to make a significant announcement? Well, well based on the market action, not what I'm hearing, and, uh, you know, actually what I am hearing over my shoulder in the S&P pit, there was a lot of short covering in this last half hour as we approached the close, and it was rather systematic, and it was it was very interesting. So, you know, some traders uh, must have uh, some opinion forming to uh, to cover those shorts. We came, you know, rearing back when the market could have been down on the day after some much needed profit taking. You know, we've we've uh, closed on the positive. So I view that as positive for Goldman because if someone knows, you know, that's that's reflected in the market action. I wonder about the, the, the BP action here. Uh, Michael Cagino, I mean, how bad was this? A lot of people sort of uh, took a while to realize how bad it would be uh, for the environment and for the company itself, and maybe even for the administration. But what about for the market? What kind of effect is, is this oil spill? Has it had on the market and could it have if it's, if it's plugged? Well, I'm not sure on the overall market because there's, un there's other energy companies that aren't tainted by this. There are some others that are. Um, it does have an overhang on the overall industry with respect to drilling in the Gulf and uh, the potential for businesses to move away from the Gulf into other areas. So uh, I think any day that there's not oil spewing into the Gulf is a good day. And the quicker we can stop that and move on and figure out what happened and try not to repeat it and build up our control against uh, issues relating to deep water drilling going forward and the technology needed to do that is better. And so I think it's a big positive for the energy sector and BP specifically. Let's go back to our guest, Alan Nuckman of Agora Financial and Michael Cugino of Permanent Portfolio Funds. Michael, we do have a lot of big earnings reports coming out tomorrow. Uh, Laura just breaking them down, City, B of A, and General Electric. So far, how do you think we're doing in terms of earnings and uh, how close are you watching tomorrow's numbers? Well, I think you watch every day. We're right in the beginning of earnings season, and I, I expect it to be pretty good, actually. We didn't see a lot of pre-announcements. I think any issues relating to any slowdowns in Europe or Asia weren't necessarily going to hit in the second quarter anyway. They're more second half of the year issues. So I actually expect earnings to be pretty good.